Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Rosa Franklin and welcome back to our November monthly newsletter for Bespoke regarding common ankle injuries and ankle health. The ankle is meant to be a fairly mobile joint in that it should be flexible and should be able to move through a large range of motion, but it also should be strong through that range of motion. Today we'll be covering more of the flexibility and the range of motion of the ankle joint. The ankle joint is primarily focused on moving itself up and down. Okay, so when we go up, it's called dorsiflexion. When we go down, it's called plantar flexion. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on improving the soft tissue or the muscles around the areas, mobility and create some movement and create some warmth in the area prior to asking the joint to kind of improve some range of motion or working on that portion. So first we'll go ahead and address the soft tissue or the muscles uh, around the ankle or things that attach down to it. So. What we'll first start out with is a foam roll. So the foam roll is a great way to kind of get some soft tissue or muscular movement. Um, other things that you can kind of use are going to be a Theragun. You could also use a lacrosse ball. You could also use those tiger sticks where you roll, even a rolling pin. Um, but for today, we're going to be using a foam roll. We're going to go ahead and start by warming up our calves or getting our calves to improve some blood flow, improve some movement uh, via using the foam roll itself to kind of create like a massage. So you have a couple options here that we'll kind of work our way through. So I'm going to go ahead and have my leg on top of the foam roll, the other leg down on the ground, and I'm going to lift my hips up to create some more pressure and I'm gonna roll up and down my calf muscles. My calf muscles are meant to pull my toes down. So if they are tight, they will restrict the motion up. So this is loosening up the calf muscles. So that way we can go ahead and improve our ability to move upward. You can go ahead and roll on the inside, the outside, up and down, side to side. If you want more pressure, then you can go ahead and you can stack both feet on top of one another and move up and down. Sit down if your arms are tired. I like to just sit here and move my toes like a windshield wiper, and that way I can kind of get like a cross friction massage, and you'll feel a little different than going up and down. You also can work on range of motion while you're here. So while you're sitting on the muscle, you can point up and point down. Again, to kind of focus on the tissue and the range of motion at the same time. So the next one we're going to work on is our shed muscles. This one is a little bit more aggressive because your whole body weight's on top of here. Again, you could use a massage stick if you'd like, sitting down, rolling on top of that area to kind of modify the intensity of the pressure, or you can take it to the next level and try it like so. I'm going to bring my legs onto the foam roll and I'm going to turn slightly to the side so I'm on the lateral or side of my lower leg bone and I'm just going to move up and down here. Most of the soft tissue on the shin is on the outer side so that's why I'm kind of positioning myself like so. If the tissue of the shin is tight it will restrict the motion downward because its job is to bring the toes upward. So this will help improve the ability to move downward if you kind of get this soft tissue moving and freeing up some space for the joint. Okay, so that's how we address the soft tissue to start. After that, now that we've got the tissue more mobile, warmed up, more circulated, then we'd go into stretching now that that tissue is kind of moving a little bit more. The first thing we'll do is again address the back of the calf. The back of the calf I like to do in a few ways. One simple is where you can have one leg back, one leg forward. Really focusing on this back leg, we're going to stretch out the back of our calf region. 
We're going to keep our heel flat, our toes forward, and we can kind of lunge into this front leg. This is again to improve the ability to move the toes upward by addressing the back of the calf that would restrict that motion. Uh, there is another calf stretch that works on a little bit deeper calf muscle where you would bring your back leg in and you would kind of drop down like you're trying to go into a kneeling position. Again, you still keep that heel flat and you might feel more of the tension or resistance to this motion down a little bit closer to the heel in the Achilles tendon, but you know, down a little bit closer to the heel itself. Another way that I like to do a calf stretch that is similar to this, but you can feel a little bit more is, I usually like to use a step or a wall or I can go ahead and let myself just hang off and feel a little bit more greater range of motion in the stretch through here. Now, we are gonna go ahead and address this soft tissue of the front now. And again, the range of motion will be restricted going down if the soft tissue on the front is very limited. So you can sit down into a kneeling fashion and you can see how I'm already starting to point my toes down and this will create a stretch in that area. A modified version would be maybe to put your hands out in front of you to make it a little bit less aggressive. And if you wanted to make it a little bit more intense, then you would go ahead and alternate kind of lifting your knees up and feeling that big pull down here in the front of your shin and maybe even in the front of your ankle as well. Okay, so now we've addressed the uh, flexibility and maybe even in this position, a little bit of mobility of pointing our toes down. We've already worked on the flexibility to try to get our toes up. Now we're gonna work on a little bit more mobility again for toes up. So you're going to be in this kneeling stance where you're going to push forward, working on getting that toe closer to the shin. You can work on varying angles where you kind of go at a diagonal in each direction. You can even add a weight to help kind of overpressure or placing a band here that attaches that direction to help kind of get some more movement in the joint. Um, but all of these, again, are to work on the toes up or toes down, the primary range of motion that the ankle experiences. And what we'll do in this next one that we'll reveal is going to be on the strengthening. So now that the range of motion is there, let's go ahead and strengthen it to make sure that it's a very stable and mobile joint at the same time. I look forward to showing you some more of that in our next newsletter going on in November and uh, happy to see you there.